I'm supposed to wear this? Am I supposed to fold it down? No, that's stupid. Okay, I was very intrigued when Mario did uh, Mario. You guys know Makeup by Mario. Uh, when Makeup by Mario launched Makeup by Mario, I've always been interested in, in him and his work. And when I found out that he was launching a brand, part of me was like, ugh, another one. And then part of me was like, ooh, I need that. So I got the two eyeshadow palettes. I got the, um, I got the mattes, which just, <sighs> how many neutral palettes do I have? You know what I mean? But look at that. Mm, it's like chocolate. So I was just intrigued. I liked the warmth and I wanted to fuck around with this. And also big fan of the packaging. You guys, you don't have to care about it, but. I was a graphic designer, I went to school for art. I like, all right, love it. Graphic, lets the makeup do the talking into it. Matte letters, just saying. Box, cardboard, again, graphic. I'm into it, just, ugh, this is what I would be doing, you know, if I had a makeup brand. Makeup, love that. I also picked up the little um, mixing guy. So this is the Metallic Pigments Mixing Liquid Trans, Former or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, who was the first person? The first is it was it Mer Meron who had the mixing liquid, uh, and that's what like everybody used to use. So he came, basically came out with his own. And then I got the metallic palette just because. Again, how can you look at that and not want to buy it? Plus, I needed to try the formulas. So I swatched one of them. They do swatch beautifully, but I'm super excited about this like mixing liquid. That was loud. Um, and then I also picked up the Master Crystal Reflector in Quartz, just honestly because I thought it was pretty. See that reflect? I might just pop that around. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm gonna prime my eyes with my Urban Decay Priming Potion. Uh, I wanna do something different. I'm gonna be trying, obviously, these formulas, and that's like the main point of this video, but I don't know, I'm bored with like what I've been doing recently, so. If it's something that you're not necessarily gonna wear out, my apologies. Um, but your girl's gotta be creative. I'm starting to go a little bit crazy over here. I'm planning on using a wet metallic up here. So I'm trying to decide where I'm gonna actually put the mats. <laughs> I think it's probably gonna be only on my lower lash line. I got glue in my eyelashes earlier and I can't get it out now. I'll check this shit out. It's pretty liquidy. No smell, it smells like water. If this is just water, <laughs> oh no, it's got alcohol in it. I can smell the alcohol. It, I bet this is like water and alcohol. <laughs> what are the ingredients? Water, alcohol. Those are the first two ingredients. <laughs> Some other stuff that I can't pronounce. Uh, I've never used the Meron one, so, you know. I just love the packaging, fuck. It's cool. So, oh, it also has this little guy. A spatula to mix up the pigment, I believe, but. Like to scrape it, maybe? We'll see what happens. So I'm gonna start off with the matte palette just cause, you know. Um, and I think what I'm gonna do is start on the lid. And I'm actually gonna pick up this guy right here. This like kind of tan, almost mustardy shade. It's not really mustard, it's more, it's more of a tan. It matches my top quite nicely. Stop making fun of me for saying that things match. Please. Uh, and I'm going to use just any brush, whatever. This is MAC 217. Mm, I just, they look velvety, you know? All right, looking down. I just, I can already tell that I'm gonna love them. So I'm gonna start on my lid, patting. Yeah, I can already tell that I love these. Sometimes you just know. Love that color. And then I'm gonna slowly just kind of blend whatever's left over on the brush out and up to my eyebrow, but I don't really want color. I'm just kind of like blending. I, kinda, I just really want this look to be more about the metallic. There's a bristle in this Morphe. Um, oh no, this is the MAC. Fuck you, MAC. There's a bristle on this brush that's just st stabbing me in the eye. And I could turn it around, but I'm not gonna. 
So already they just feel incredibly soft. Very, very soft. Um, easy to put down the pigment, but not too much. Definitely looks like it diffuses and blends very nicely. Mm, I love that. And it doesn't look like heavy on my eyelids. You'll have to let me know what you think, but I don't think it looks like incredibly powdery. I'm gonna go into the lower lash line before I do the metallic on the top. Uh, I need to put something in my waterline first. So I'm gonna use this guy from ColourPop. It's the cream gel liner in Extra Frosting. I think I'm gonna extend it a little bit. I'm, I'm being inspired by my graphic top right now. Look like a cartoon. Um, and then for the rest of the lash line, I guess I'm gonna grab this color, which is like basically a slightly darker version of this. And I'm going to use the Sigma E27 brush. So I'm gonna focus it on the tip of the brush. I love that there isn't a ton of kickback when you dip in, which can tend to happen when you have like pigmented shadows, but these do tend, these look like, they really stick on the bristles and they do put down like a nice amount of color, I think. Let's blend with those first. So I'm gonna follow um, just my whole eye bag, blending underneath that liner. So focus, I'm using kind of a fluffier brush, so I'm focusing it right underneath that liner. And then whatever travels down is kind of like blended out by the brush. Like that, just basically defining. And then I'm gonna pick up that first shade and blend just under that. So kind of starting like in the middle and then blending down a little bit. Am I in focus? I can't tell. <laughs> Boyfriend's making espresso. But I can't yell at him because he was literally up all night working. <laughs> Love it. They're super soft. I'm going to use my MAC uh, 239S brush. You'd think that I would know all of the names of these, but I don't. And I'm going to pick up the dark brown, this dark brown shade on the tip of that brush and focus it right here along the lash line. So I'm starting it there. Like this is where the focus is, ever off center. And then I'm just gonna diffuse that a little. I look like a cartoon. And then using the Japanesque 347 angled brush, any angled brush, I actually wanted one a little bit thicker than this, but this is uh, fine. I'm gonna pick up the cream color and I'm just going to kind of set and diffuse what I did out here with that liner. So right there, I'm gonna kind of like set it and then literally just like extend a little bit like that. See how different? It's just a tiny little thing. You don't really need to do it, but it just made a difference, you know? All right, metallic. So I wanna use Blue. What I like about this is that, my first thing, design-wise, I love how he placed the shadows because he's got the lights, you know what I mean? He's got, he's separating colors uh, by color, like he's separated the pinks, golds, oranges, everything's a little bit disconnected. It looks so nice. I love that. It like, cre it ca uh, wow, I'm getting too excited. It forces your eye to look around the palette, if that makes sense. Like putting similar colors in opposite ends forces your eye to move around the palette. And I love that so much. Oh, man, it just makes me wanna use it. So I think I'm gonna use this like teal shade because I don't know why, but those like blues are really just like, I want you right now. So I'm just gonna do a quick swatch. So that was me just dipping my finger in, a little pickup. I'm gonna scrape a tiny bit of, you're not gonna be able to see this, but I'm gonna scrape a little bit of that shadow with the spatula. I'm the queen of not watching any tutorials on things before I make videos on them because I don't like following instructions. I don't know what to tell you. And then I'm gonna take a drop of the mixing liquid, literally just a drop, and then mash it all together with um, 
the spatula. And I don't know, this is just m me, my intuition. I'm assuming this is how you're supposed to do it. I'm gonna grab this little flat brush from ColourPop. It's the E3 brush. I'm like nervous about this. I decided to do it on the back of my hand, which seems to kind of mix it better actually. Cause um, because this stuff contains alcohol, it dries pretty quickly. And then I'm going to do that. I'm feeling very black swan right now, but I am getting like cra uh, some crazy transfer. So I'm gonna like fix that a little bit. Um, I'm gonna do a similar thing with this shade, this like vanilla shade. Actually, I'm gonna use this like pale gold and bring it, do like a line under my brow. So just really intensify that um, brow bone highlight. I'm gonna do that on my inner corner too, on the lower part. I'm just, I didn't re-wet it. I'm just using whatever moisture's left over on the brush, just to kind of like carry that throughout, especially when you're doing creative looks. I mean, no matter what, you're always looking for balance. I don't really know how to, to incorporate this like crystal topper though, because it's very glittery and it just doesn't really go with my like painted look, I think. I'm gonna have to hold on to that and do that on another day, but it's very sheer. It's a topper, so it's not a highlight. I would compare it maybe to the Fenty ones. Why did I put this in the most awkward place to show you? I literally can't tell if you can <laughs> see the finish of it at all, but it's like super glittery. I'm super, I'm very like intrigued by it. I kind of want to use it. I think it would be really pretty as like a highlight on New Year's Eve. Not that anybody's doing anything on New Year's Eve. This I'm gonna have to come back to. So I hope you enjoyed that swatch. <sighs> okay, lashes really make a difference, huh? Um, so I went in with the, what is this called? It's a look by House of Lashes and Patrick Ta. And uh, I'll tell you what I did on my lips, but basically I just, I was feeling extremely creative today. <laughs> Um, I also went in with a little bit, I actually used the one size beauty, but not that I can give you much of a review, of a review on that because all I did was extend some lashes down here. Let me zoom you out. So I'm very aware that this is not a look that you're probably gonna be wearing out. <laughs> but I will say that what I found from this, using these products is that, I love the mattes. Uh, they are not ridiculously pigmented. They are not like you dip your brush in and there's all this like saturated, pigment on it. It's much softer than that. It does put down a, a nice amount of color, but they definitely seem to be much more on the natural side. Uh, and when I say that, I mean they are more about blending and less about a ton of pigment. I think these are going to be really excellent for people who probably have um, maybe more textured lids or saggier skin. Uh, they're gonna blend over the majority of skin types, in my opinion. Like, they're gonna be very, very blendable. I just wanna do some swatches for you guys. All right, so here are some swatches. So the top row are the mattes. You can tell just from the black that these shadows are not meant to be highly saturated, highly pigmented. They, you can actually see from those swatches that, uh, I guess that's just the top three are mattes, sorry, that they're, they look very soft. Hopefully you can see that. So these are the kinds of products that are going to like build up slowly on the skin. Uh, I found them incredibly blendable and, and soft on my skin. This is going to be ideal, I think, for um, more mature skin. Uh, and then obviously the metallics are where you really get the payoff. So there's a few different formulas in there. Slightly more dry and more glittery. You've got some really uh, heavy, like saturated metallics. 
uh, some slightly more like this shade right here is a little bit more satiny, but you have like a really nice range. I highly approve, honestly. If you are interested in these palettes, I think they're great. If you've been waiting to purchase some kind of a metallics palette like this, I mean, you got all of them right here, you know what I mean? Like you got all the colors and then, let me zoom you out. As far as mattes go, this is obviously quite a warm palette in my opinion, pretty tan. Like if you are someone who, if you're very, very, very fair and you have maybe more like pinker skin with a blue undertone, these might not be the most flattering on you because they are quite warm. There's like a lot of, uh, this is gonna be really great for like tan skin, a lot of warmth, a lot of olive. If you're like not super into warm shades, then you might not want to pick this up, but I'm sure he's gonna expand the line, you know? I think my only critique is how from this to this, like these two shades are quite similar. These two shades are pretty similar. Like this one's a little bit more um, orangey. This one's got more red or burgundy in it, yeah. but like, I don't know. If you're a professional makeup artist and you're watching this right now, can you let me know what you think of this palette in terms of using this on lots of different skin tones? Is it nice to have shades that are like that close? Because me, I like want more variety because I feel like if you lose this color, I can mix it myself. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense, but I really love how they blended. They're very, very soft. I think it's, <laughs> again, this isn't a look that you're necessarily gonna be wearing out, but uh, for me personally, if I can just critique this real quick, I love the juxtaposition of the soft matte with like a more graphic, rough metallic. So I approve and I recommend. And at some point I'll show you guys that, um, maybe I'll do like some kind of a holiday look or something and I'll show you the glittery, what, what is this called? Master Crystal Reflector. Oh, and then my lip is literally just a nude lip liner that I had on earlier. And then I kind of just dabbed a little bit of uh, Ofra's Bel Air because I needed something a little bit warmer to go with that lid. Kind of clashing against the cool pink background. It's fine. All right, guys, let me know what you think of uh, these products. Are you interested? Do you have them? What do you think? And I'll see you uh, soon.